Share this video with people at your facility that don't know what to do. This is a Lennox 25 ton package unit that has a factory built in dehumidification. Uh, it's based on hot gas reheat and Lennox calls it humiditrol. And here's how we uh, more than doubled the dehumidification power in just one room in one facility. I want you to go outside and look at your air conditioning units that are sitting around back or climb up on the roof today and take a look at them and see if they have this sticker on it, that one that says Humiditrol. If you have these units, we can more than double the dehumidification power that you're currently getting. Here's how we did it last week. Here's where this job began. Monday, July 24th, I was contacted by one of the managers of the farm in Missouri. And I want you to notice the date, July 24th. One month later, after several uh, text messages, photos being sent, phone calls, I had given them a verbal proposal of what we would do and they approved it. So let me tell you about this unit we're working on. You, if you can look in there, you can see there's four compressors. Uh, the second one is kind of hidden by that center post that has the number four on it, but there's four compressors sitting there. The two on the left are the units that do factory built-in reheat dehumidification with hot gas. The two on the right don't, they're not involved in the reheat at this point. So anytime this machine was doing dehumidification, half of its compressors were off. When we got to the site, I suspected this is what I was going to find. Um, actually, I knew that because I had read the manual on the thing, so I knew only two of the four were used for reheat. But what I didn't know until I arrived on site was that the two compressors on the left are smaller than the two compressors on the right. So when this thing is doing dehumidification, we're not even getting half of the unit's capacity doing it. One of the key discoveries we made on site was that the two compressors being used for reheat dehumidification were smaller than the two compressors not being used. These are the two larger compressors that until we did our setup, they were not being able to be used to do on-demand reheat dehumidification. I want you to also notice the number of components in this unit. There's uh, six capacitors there, and next to that are six uh, fan relays. Up in the corner, we've got uh, low ambient pressure controls that are uh, cycling those fans. Um, this is not a very basic unit. It's a pretty complex machine. We arrived Tuesday evening and stopped by the facility to let them know we were in town. And then the next day on Wednesday, Pierce and I, along with uh, their in-house maintenance uh, technician and then later on the day the HVAC contractors uh, showed up and the five of us spent hours testing uh, these two machines in this one room trying to get it to respond to what we wanted to do and we just were not getting anywhere and ultimately at the end of the day I told everybody I was going to ask the factory for some help, and if they didn't give us any help, then my suggestion was we, gave a, we would give a lobotomy to this machine. Just look at the computer power in this machine. It probably has more computing power than the first rocket to the moon had, which is way too much. We don't need this type of sophistication and complication in the machine. So that lobotomy... This was what was gonna get cut out if we had to do any cutting. But fortunately, the next morning, when we came back with a fresh start, we did some more tests. We converted the unit from using a digital controller to a standard analog thermostat, and we started to make some progress on getting the machine to respond the way we needed it to respond. And within about an hour, Pierce, Charlie, and myself had determined that we had unlocked 
the mystery of how to control this thing and get it to do what we want it to do. Now that we knew exactly how to control this machine, we went to work on setting up our controls. So at this time, we're inside the building, uh, replacing the original thermostat control with um, the very basic Trollmaster setup with the TS2 and an HS1 and the HCS1, the old little basic guy, $300 control. I want to notice the water on the ground too because that was one of the things that we used as a gauge to measure the performance increase because everybody who worked at the facility knew how much water was on the ground around this unit and by the time we were done this puddle had extended across the roadway showing us that this machine was doing far more water removal than prior. Once we knew exactly what to do the job was very quick. It took us about a total of two hours to do everything we needed to do to convert this unit to being able to do cooling, heating, and reheat on demand, and again, more than double the dehumidification power that they had prior. So what you're seeing here is uh, Charlie and Steve, the HVAC contractor that's local, uh, we're showing them exactly what we did and how to do it again so that so that Steve, the responsible contractor, he could feel good about the setup. And he was amazed at what we were able to do with it because he had been working with this unit for a couple of years. And we basically showed him some new tricks. And Charlie, he's down there today doing the second unit in this room uh, because they want more dehumidification. So they ain't gonna stop. They're gonna do all the units in, in the in the room, that's two in this one, and then they're gonna to go to the next rooms and do all of their units eventually in the facility now that they have the solution in their hand. They own it 100% because we taught their local people how to do it. Everybody, but especially myself, was so glad that we didn't have to perform that lobotomy and do any cutting and removing from this unit. We didn't. We didn't remove one thing, we didn't cut one wire, we didn't change any of the components. We found exactly what we needed to do in the wiring. We made a, a minor wiring change and it gave us all the control that we were looking for and we had success. Here you can see the guys just monitoring the unit, talking shop, talking how to do the next unit, uh, looking at all the, the sensor points that the unit gives us. You know, that computer is quite control or quite uh, sophisticated so it gives us a lot of information on that board so do yourself a favor go outside take a look at your units see if they are Lennox with the Humiditrol you see the factory strategy is using the two smaller compressors and that's why in the stock form that you're currently running you're getting less than the available dehumidification from this unit so what we were able to do in this facility was utilize some duct heaters that had been installed for space heating, backup heat. We were able to utilize those to bring on the second two compressors and fully do reheat dehumidification on demand. So whether you've got Lennox with factory reheat or you've got some other brand or you don't know what you have, we can probably help you because that's what we do more than anything else today is we go to facilities and we show them how to make simple changes to increase the dehumidification power with the equipment you already own. So it's kind of like, you know, car tuners, they don't put on any parts, right? They do electronic programming to make changes to your car to make it have more performance. That's what we are. We're essentially room tuners and we get way more performance out of the equipment you have without you spending any money on buying more dehumidifiers uh, you don't in fact what we'll do for you is we'll help you eliminate the dehumidifiers that you have we'll show you how to use them in a way that they're no longer a hindrance to you and that they actually serve you but more importantly we're going to show you how to never buy one again because after we do what we do for you you won't buy any dehumidifiers again so what we do for you more than pays for itself because here's another thing you're going to get colder drier finishes right 
Right now, you can't get drier, so you can't go colder. You'd like to go colder, but, but you hit a floor where you can't get the dehumidification level low enough. And as a result, you're having to stay up in a VPD range to try to keep the room under control while everybody that we're doing work for, they're now finishing colder and drier. So they're, they're producing better weed. They're not failing mold, right? So if you want to have that benefit, just contact us. We do it every day for people all over the world. And in the United States of America, we travel around and we do it on site. So we can help you remotely in a lot of cases and we can come to your place and help you too. It just all depends on what needs to be done. But if you got these Linux units, we got this now in the bag and, and we probably don't even have to come out to your place, but we'd be happy to. So let me know if Pierce and I can give you any help. Thanks for watching this video.